Championship quarter final. It's the Commonwealth Games silver medalist Ben Lane and Sean Vendy from England up against the two time World Championship bronze medalists Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Riyad Ardianto. Well, this men's doubles will be from the top section of the bottom half of the draw. Now, look at that. We have just one seeded pair in the bottom half of the draw. And I can tell you, only three seeded pairs in the top half. The draw, which did start with eight seeds, has been absolutely decimated. Four seeds less lost yesterday. Hassan and Seti won, three-time world champions. The current world champions, Aaron Char and Soweek, Astrup and Erasmussen. And the former champions, Gideon and Sukumolia. What a day it was in the first round of the men's doubles. Quite extraordinary results. Well, our two pairs have established themselves in world terms. Uh, so there's no question, Alfian and Ardianto, I think, are the best pair in the world. Uh, right now, as we see the English combination, the left and right handed pair of Ben Lane and Sean Vendy coming into the arena first. Alfian and Ardianto, eight finals from 14 tournaments this year, but it's actually even better than that because it's eight finals in the last 12 tournaments that they have played. And that includes four titles, including last week at the Denmark Open, another Super 750 event on the HSBC BWF World Tour. Now, this will be a third meeting between these two pairs, and of course, oh, me having told you that Alfian and Ardianto got through to the semi final of the World Championships this year, they must have won that quarter final encounter. So, it is the English pair who have won the toss of the coin and they have chosen ends to start. And that World Championship quarter final in Tokyo last year, 21 11, 21 16 in under 30 minutes for the Indonesian combination. So, I don't think there can have been many rallies. I didn't call that match, I didn't see that match in Tokyo. Uh, but I don't think there can have been very many long rallies. Sean Vendy is 26 years of age from Kirkwall, the capital of the Orkney Isles in Scotland. He did actually move to England age seven. And he's naturally a left-hander, but has chosen to play badminton right-handed. Now, as you can see, he and his partner, Ben Lane, are currently playing off their career high of 13. It's their fifth week in total. 25 years of age, Ben Lane from Kingston in Surrey. And he comes from a very sporting family. They've been in one final this year. It was the Commonwealth Games where they were silver medalists. And here, in the very first round, they beat Yepabai and Alassa Mulheda of Denmark. Very comfortable second game, as you can see, in only 32 minutes. So to the Indonesians that have been so outstanding this year. This is Mohamed Orian Adianto, who is 26 years of age. They're actually one place down on the world ranking from their career high. A total of 38 weeks across three different spells at number five. And I'm imagining if the world ranking was completely unfrozen now, they might well be world number ones. I haven't worked it out, but I'm sure my colleague, Steen, has, and he'll tell us about that in just a moment. Fajar Alfian is 27 years of age from Bangdung in West Java. Now, this is their fourth appearance at the French Open. They were semi-finalists last year. They lost out to the number one seeds, Gideon and Sukumolio, their teammates who then lost in the final. Well, in the first round, they beat Arjun and Kapila of Ind India, 15 and 16 in 37 minutes. And uh, 
court officials for this one are Ampar Varou from Greece and our service judge Van Horenbeck from Belgium. So, no doubt, the Indonesians have been in tremendous form this year. In fact, their first two tournaments of the year were their worst two tournaments of the year, the German and the All England. They were seeded in both and lost in the first and second round, respectively. So, we're just about ready to get this match underway. And on my left, Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Ardiando, Indonesia. Fajar Alfian to serve to Son Bendy, Lavol, play. So the winners of four World Tour titles this week far side of the court getting this second round match underway. Alfian and Arianto against Lane and Vindy. What a good opening rally. Now, Steen, I was posing the question in the introduction there about Alfian and Arianto, and if the world rankings were completely unfrozen now, which they're not, where would Alfian and Arianto be? Well, uh, they would not be uh, number one, they would be uh, number two. Right. Who would, be, who would be number one? The number ones would be uh, uh, the uh, former world champions, Hoki and uh, Kobayashi. Yes, from, that's uh, understandable. Japan. Yeah. But if uh, the world rankings were calculated for the calendar year, so from 1st of January to today, yeah. they would be number one. Excellent. I knew you would know that, Steve. You're the master of all these world rankings and so on. Keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's enough compliments. <laughs> oh, look at that angle. That's a super shot from Sean Vendy. One. Well, I can tell you that. Ben Lane and Sean Vendy have made a bit of an impact this year. Within a few months, uh, they have beaten Aaron Char and Sowi Eek. Uh, that was in the semi-final of the Commonwealth Games, and then shortly after that, that Malaysian pair became world champions. Uh, they beat Gideon and Sukumolio in the world championships when they were world number ones, and they've beaten Li Yang and Wang Chilen who are the Olympic champions. Now, that's not a bad set of results, is it, Steen? No, that's something you should um, you should take to build on confidence that uh, you're going in the right direction and uh, <clears throat> that things are about to go your way at some point. Service over. If you keep um, focusing, Three, there's so many possibilities four. for distractions, so many that um, want to influence your career one way or the other. So Morton Frost, our former colleague on the right as we look at them, and Julian Robertson on the coaching bench. Uh, Nathan Robertson. Did I say Julian? I do Julian. apologize, of course it's Nathan. Yep, good attacking play from Alfian. I'm sure everybody knows, but Morton Frost has become the... Is, he, is his title performance director at Badminton England? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. But with some, some undertiles, I think he's also in, involved in the actual uh, coaching. Yeah, good work by the English pair, good combination play. I think um, it's a clever plan to flick four. Alfian. And I think the English should be very alert when he has the uh, 
shuttle on the backcourt because I don't think he's sort of showed that he's ready to work really hard here from the beginning. So there will be a lot of um, odd shots, so to speak. Oh, that came off the frame. Rally. Excellent. And the English combination on the attack for the vast majority of that rally. That was terrible indecision, wasn't it, from Sean Vendy? Serve loose got what it deserved Five. from Arianto. Well, the English pair just asking if he moved before the serve was struck. I think the serve was just too loose. Got back extremely well for that, Ben Lane. They're looking a little glum at the moment. I don't know why. It's very early stages. <laughs> wait, wait. Six, oh. The way I see it, definitely um, a helping Seven hand for, for Lane and Wendy that um, Seven, the shovels are a bit six. to the slow side so that um, the server situation is not um, as super important as we see it when the shuttles are slow. When the shuttles are fast. Uh, when the shuttles are fast, of course. Yeah. Um, on the other hand, they cannot get too slow so that um, it's impossible to uh, put it away. Confusion. There was oh. this uh, clever shot by um, Alfian energy saving shot but as long as they're efficient why not use them yeah. and that's why the uh, English pair should uh, move a little bit forward in the defense whenever he's at the back and it should be from the beginning here because it's it's here there's points to win well, Lane and Vendy making their third appearance here. They've never been beyond this second round. So this could be a bit of a, a milestone for them if they were to win this encounter. Oh. Right to try and intercept no. Steam? No. no. No, I had my doubts too. Yeah. Leave it, leave it to your partner. Yeah, he was there. What, what if you hit it? In, in the um, uh, way, want in, in the racket head. I mean, where's it going to go? Nobody knows. And in the long run, you don't want to take up the challenge with uh, Alfian. Service over. Seven, nine. You were talking last week at the Denmark Open about Alfian at the front of the courts. That's very much his favorite position, isn't it? It, it is, it is. Yeah. Oh, dear. Service over. Service error from Vendy. Yeah. Ten, seven. Second, uh, it wasn't a service error, but it was, it, to me, it counted as a service error, the one he played very, very loose that was immediately punished. Yeah. That's gone long of the back line. Oh, there's ben a challenge. There's a challenge here from Ben Lane. Out. And both coaches are on their way in. <laughs> I 
<laughs> they, they smile at each other, Nathan Robertson and uh, Harry Piangardi. Yep. So now we can start the mid-game interval. One challenge remaining. Four-point advantage interval. for Alfian and Ardianto. Sininya jelek, dua-duanya, ya. Kalau yang kebut tembak sini begini terus nih. Lalu naro masuk. Kalau nembak nembaknya ke yang eh, kanan nih, sebelah kanan nih. Oke, okay? ya. Biar servisnya berani kami kebut geser kiri. Jangan jangan satu titik itu nggak apa-apa. Geserin kan kiri. Oke, okay? ya megang terus ya. ya, ya. Maybe something about varying the serve. Possibly. To get a little bit um, Port one, odd returns Port instead one, of the ones that have seconds. been um, studied on video. That's a cheap point 12, for the Indonesians. Seven. Yeah, and, and that's that's going to kill Lane and Bendy in, in the long run if they uh, keep giving away these um, cheap points. The, the advantage here is there was the uh, service to the uh, side. Yeah. Out to 13, the backhand side of Ben Lane. Uh, I thought there was something yeah. about the serve. The thing here for, for the English pair is that they do not have to sort of get the attack from the goal as much as they normally would had um, the playing Service conditions over. been uh, faster, had there been extra drift or shuttles uh, faster. Eight, so they can be a little bit more patient. And I would say I would even flick to Arianto um, most of the time. That's a beautiful return. Because of his returns like that, now Sean Bendy is once again saying to the umpire that he thought that Arianto moved before the serve was struck. Well, if that's the case, why don't you throw him a flick then? Yeah. The problem is that they've sort of um, lost three, four points cheap, as you uh, say, Jill. And that makes it difficult here. This was the first game where they should have um, shot them. Service fault called. Service fault called. Service over. Too high. Sean Vendy. Nine. Yeah. Wow. Service Lucky over. return, or good return, depending Ten, on your perspective. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful block from Lane. 11, 15. That is delightful. Standing in that position, they are good, Lane and uh, Vendy. Narrowed the gap to just three points. At that time he did flake. Or drive. Yeah. 
Uh, got to be wary of Fajar Alfian in front of the court. I think Lane was saying to coaches, I can't get it away. a nice idea going for the over. slow drop Adianto 13 16 yeah, but it really does demonstrate in comparison to last week how the shuttles and the playing conditions are slower yes and the Indonesians they would love to get easy past this match here they've won the Denmark Open beaten uh, Gideon and Sukumulio in a final uh, flying here to France and the shuttles are slow and oh, there's a long tournament ahead of us so for the English it's about making this really really hard they, they got to know on the other side this is going to be a tough match because we want yeah. to beat you today yeah the next one is going to be something different yes exactly Well, this is a good spell from the English combination. No, no. I'm here. I said no. Yeah, well, Ardianto claiming he didn't realize the umpire had said no to changing the shuttle. He just wants to break the rhythm and he's done it. Yeah. Play. So one point the deficit. of the last seven points to the English pair. That's excellent play by Sean Bendy. Senses that uh, Alfian is going to play into the net. Seven of the last eight points and back level. 16 all. Who would have thought when they were nine, 15 adrift. Yeah, good work by Ardianto. But, but at the moment, Bendy's short serve is so bad that they have no advantage of him serving short. So he might as okay. well either do the flat flicker or the long flick. Yeah. Good serve. The goal is to get the service return away from um, Alfian. Yeah, nicely done. Yeah. Sense the danger, Alfian and Adianto. Nineteen and just won 16. three quick points. following the uh, change of racket from uh, Arianto and I, I couldn't actually see if the string was broken if it's not then you shouldn't be allowed to change it just wide and it is 20, game point opportunities game point. on a 16. run of four straight points from Alfian and Arianto Yeah, five straight points to close out the game First from game 16 all when Alfian it looked Alfian very much as if the momentum was with Lane and Vendi. Well, that's the class of Alfian and Ardianto responding to the pressure situation. Five straight points to close out the game, 21-16.
in 18 minutes. We've got to go out, out corner or this soft, we've got to find a soft, uh, soft fade. Yeah, so when they push it through us, first four shots, yeah. yeah, what do they want us to do? They want us to hit back through them. Yeah, so that's, that's not what we're going to do now, yeah? If it's up there, we do this, we do the layoff, we do the layoff, or we take the rear corner, yeah? And then we start playing them side to side. Yeah. yeah, side to side, then we find an easy gap and we follow and then we go on the attack. When we're getting on the attack, our attack we do all the time is working. Yeah, it is working. Yeah, when they're driving to us, we just lay off or we go back over, over out. That's the only thing. If we tidy up our first four, yeah, then we're so, so in there. Just discipline. When we worked them, they gave us the mistakes on longer rallies. Yeah. We gave them the one. We gave we gave them the ones in the first four. So just let's tidy that up. We know we can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Full belief. Let's go. So the number five seed, Salfia and Ardianto, one game to the good against Lane and Vendy. Now Julian Robertson. Nathan. <laughs> Nathan, I've done it again. I do apologise. It's annoying that one, they haven't sent Julian for this tournament here. <laughs> Nathan Robertson was saying tidy up the first four shots. Yeah. And you notice that in the opening game. And was... Is it your opinion that's the stem of all the problems? Um, Seemed to be what bo bo both Nathan yes and was no. saying. Yeah, um, it was. Yeah, I mean, One, the loose services four. of um, of Sean Bendy was yeah. uh, was a big problem. Yeah. Um, I think tidying up um, the first four. That 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 was exactly this rally was exactly what Nathan One. Robertson uh, urged them to. Tidying up is. Um, it's correct, but what, what does it actually mean? What, what kind of shots should we play? He, he mentioned that they should find the gaps, play soft shots and so on. I also think it means flicking a lot. Um, and the thing is, um, the end of the first game worried me a little bit because to me it showed that there's excess um, capacity on the Indonesian side, that they just... Um, touched the um, gas pedal a little bit and then it just cruised past um, yeah. the English. So um, it's the first step, but but probably not enough. I like this also that they wanted to play them side Wait. to side Wait. Um, and get on the attack. Service I think over. there's a lot of points to be scored Two. in the All. phase where you change from defense to attack as well. And I think they're both capable of um, Doing these shots, uh, Bendy and, and Lane, whether the um, Three, two. basic skills are, are strong enough, that's that's a question. But as you say, they're playing the best playing men's double in the world at the moment. Yeah. He's run off to change his racket. Adianto is back on. Yeah. Oh, Brilliant! Yeah. What a wonderful drop shot from Fajar Alfian. A hold and flick, first of all, trying to get it over the head of Ben Lane. But look at this drop shot. And Sean Vendy was left absolutely stranded. 
also talked about that in, in the first game, that they wanted to get by a little bit easy, Alfian and Adianto. But then when, when things comes to a close in the first game, then of course they're going to work for it. They're not going to first game go uh, by being a little bit sloppy. That's not the case. And I think also here in the second game, they want to they wanna, um, create a cushion in the beginning and then uh, hope to um, sort of see it home in smooth sailing. Long of the back line. Five, three. Didn't look fully committed on that return of serve. Didn't see how to hit it in an upward direction. Exactly. Oh, oh, that's, brilliant. A that's a lovely shot from Ardianto. I don't think Van Lane should push the serve. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. Should only push it if he can the get it below over. the tape. Four, six. Yeah, put away with Venom. Service over. Good flick serve. Very, very good flick serve from Ardianto. Well, Ben Lane has been told he back can't tell court, down. Ben. Told to go back on court. That really. That should be a warning, in my opinion. Of course, it he's should. doing exactly Lane. the opposite of what the umpire tells him to. Yeah. I mean, the umpire's got no authority if, if they say one thing Service and the player over. does the other and there's no punishment. No. Five, eight. Yeah, it's well taken by Ardianto. Indonesians are beginning to look more and more relaxed to me and more yeah. and more confident. They are. On court. Fire on court. Gun on court. Service over. Nine five. That didn't look like a full length lift to me. It wasn't, it was, it was no. way short. Yeah. Look at, look at the feet if we see them here. Uh, we didn't see where he uh, yeah. leapt from um, the ground. It's difficult to, if you're a little bit off balance on the far side of the court, it's difficult to get um, the correct length on your shot. And that's also what's hurting them now. Um, Lane and Bendy, that uh, service over. 
the Indonesians have an easier task in their attack and they're having a more difficult task so it's looking uh, it's looking bleak at the moment for Lane and Wendy that was the first service error from the Indonesians that was from Alfian Beautiful, beautiful. And to the mid-game interval with a five-point advantage, the number five seeds, Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Orian Adianto. Handsome lead again, and 11-6 up in the second. We've just got to make them work side to side and be super strong on our defence of just the, like, dead simple. Because they're not also killing everything. Yeah, yeah. But then two blocks are going right? Yeah, yeah. But they're in. So we've just got to go long. Like, we do have to go long. It's really hard because you feel like there's some easy chances to take the net, but that's where they then suddenly find be shot in those moments. So we've just got to go long. Do the basics in first four again. Yeah. You did it in the first, came back from five down, yeah? Well, the parting shot, she caught back up in the first game. You can do it here in the second. Eleven-six, play. Uh, it's a beautiful little turn shot from Alfian. Brilliant. Yeah, good rally. Service over. Seven eleven. Service fault called. Service fault called. Second time. Service Too high over. on Sean Vendy's serve. Twelve seven. Come to me, so come to me. <laughs> Sean Vendy going near the perspect measuring devices yeah. that the umpire, that the service judge has to assist him, and <laughs> moved his arm in an upward direction <laughs> to then put it across his chest. I don't think the service judge will be fooled by that. Wait. 12, 7. Short. Oh. Well. Alfian trying to be a little bit too Eight, clever there. 12. Should have stepped in and killed it. Look, it was a golden opportunity. He tries to play the delicate little disguised block. You might live to regret that, you know. He missed it, Sean Wayne. He was at the right spot at the right time. Serve from Ardianto. Nine, so the only player who hasn't made a service error so far is Ben Lane. Oh. 
This is long. Yeah, that's good work. Good rotational play by the Indonesians. Lovely drop. Ben. Ben. Well, they're about to get back in it. Lane and Wendy. Are we having a little green mark on the uh, net post there, showing 150, uh, 115? Uh, quite possibly, yeah. On court. But I think what's more important is that it's four of the last five points from Lane and Vendy since Alfian didn't go for the net kill. Yeah. And then made an error with that. With the block. Yep. And they've completely lost their rhythm since. Wait. Oh, that's too loose again. Far oh, too loose. Service over. 14, 11. Send on court. What was he complaining about there? He's complaining that Adianto is moving before the serve is struck. I think it's just a loose serve. Play. Hit him in the back. Service over. Well, uh, it was an excellent 14. return of serve. That's a great placement of the over. smash from Lane 13, towards 15. the left shoulder of Ardi Anto. Look, he's committed to his forehand defence. Yeah. Perfect placement. Oh, that's wild. My oh, goodness me. Well, well, well. 14, 15. You see, it just shows to me, um, Steen, I'm getting everybody's names wrong. I almost called yeah. you Norton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you need to shout a little bit higher because he's on the opposite side at the moment. <laughs> it just shows that even when you think you've got a handsome lead, yeah. And a five-point advantage at 12-7, you still need to keep the pressure on. Yes. Oh, that was lucky. Extremely lucky. Service over. 16, 14. On court. Good work from Vendy. Excellent play. 15, 16. I think Alfian is um, a little bit off today. There's some chances on him. So 
Not much, all. <laughs> Service over. <laughs> 17, 15. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with that, was there? No. There's a lot of space just blocking it for Mendy. Six, had six opportunities, Alfian, and there was two smashes and four other shots. Oh, that's nice. Shots are good, so I'm not saying it's easy, but I'm just saying that if you know what's coming from your opponent, it's sometimes a bit easier. Ben, important. 16, 17. Definitely flick him, but I will flick him with height, not so he can jump back. Oh, that's a good serve. Yeah, it was a good serve, wasn't it? Way long. Wow. Service over. Yeah, but the English pair 18, are unable to, to capitalize on that. the chance left in the air 18. big swing of the racket yeah. and managed to make contact one point in it it's extremely lucky yeah <laughs> from uh, sean wendy I, I don't like that action i love to see it but i don't like it as a coach you oh, don't like exactly it. yeah so the, many, many many times it goes over and uh, it's an easy point for the opponents Serve, not getting any advantage. Ben Lane, very quick back to that. I think that was lucky that um, Alfian put up his arm there because he could have been called again. Bendy, look how much he raises his uh, yeah. left arm. 19, all. Oh. Well, that shuttle was a tumble serve. It was. Well, 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 from nowhere, it's a game point opportunity for Lane and Vendy. And again. Yes. A double hit by the English pair. 20 all. Initially trying to look surprised. They knew fine well it was a double <laughs> hit. <laughs> so 20 all. Extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin.
Oh. Oi, 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 oi. They were both going forward to the net, the Indonesians. There was a huge gap at the back of the court. Yeah. And Ben Lane hit it wide of the mark. So having just saved a game point, now Alfian and Ardianto have a match point opportunity. Lane. Turn. Fell back the Indonesian side, and therefore a second opportunity for Lane and Vendi to send this to a decider. It's gone wrong. It's one game all, 22, 23, 21. 23, 21, one game all. Well, I said Alfian may live to regret that missed opportunity at 12-7 in that second game. And so it has come to pass. One game all, 45 minutes into the match. So one game all in this second round men's doubles. Final game. The Indonesians Lavo. took the first 21-16 and were 12-7 up in the second when Alfian, instead of killing the shuttle, chose to try and play a deceptive block and he missed. And the whole momentum of that Service second over. game, I thought, changed at that one. moment. Getting it below One. the tape to um, Arianto. Getting it below the tape to any of the two, but preferably Arianto. 
now a good effort from Ben Lane. The dive, keep the shuttle in play. Coming. Well, no players from England have ever won a title here at the French Open since the inception of the Super Series and World Tour. English players reached two finals, though, but they were both in the mixed doubles discipline. Not the man we're looking at in the Super Series and World Tour era. era. It was Anthony Clark and Donna Kellogg in 2008, and then the Adcocks reached the final Service eight over. years ago, 2014. Two, That's very nice. Service over. Well, that was what Nathan Four. Robertson set between the first and the second game. Play side to side and find the gaps. We got it going wide. Looks more of a sense of urgency in this rally from the Indonesians. Uh, we still have to see. In the beginning here, of course, because they want to get Service back into over. it, but um, Three, I still think that um, Alfian, even at his very best, tends to look for variation whenever he's hit a big smash. Sean Bendy. Excellent. Yeah. Well, that's what you were urging him to do earlier on in the match. Ben Lane moves a little bit um, too decisively, in my opinion. He, he puts himself a little bit out of the game. By moving too fo far forward? Yeah. That's a great shot. Heated up somewhat, hasn't it? Great defence from Alfian. Rally. Nice drop. That'll be the longest rally of the match. Yeah. Yeah, good work. I love the way Ben Lane kept going here because it's not like he's got to do this for the rest of the match, but he's got to do this for the next three, four rallies. And then the Indonesians say, OK, this is not going to work for us. So they're going to change. If he sort of um, bails out here, then they're in trouble. Yeah. Longest rally so far, as we suspected. 56 shots. Missed time that. Yeah, he missed it. Ben Lane, ben Lane missed it. He smash. Ben.
That was a lovely block. Well, they'd worked until the opportunity was there, but the opportunity was missed by Sean Vendy. And it's a little bit... Um... Oh, ben, Ben, come here. Return the saddle. Don't squeeze the saddle. Don't squeeze. Return the saddle. Play. A little bit of extra patience from Wendy in the end of that rally. Would have been uh, good. pretending he was going to hit the shuttle and deliberately missing it, knowing it was going to drop wide. That was two big smashes in a row. But the thing is, Lane and Bindi, they can stand their ground in the defense on this near side of the court here, so they don't have to hurry. They can be patient. That was a wonderful block from Ben Lane. Yeah. Two points where Dennis he's over. judged it incorrectly at the net, uh, Sean Wendy. Eight, six. Uh, once again, now Fian pretending he's going to hit it, deliberately missing it because he knew it was going to go court. out. Ben on court. Sarah. Service over. That's his second. Seven, Third in total eight. for the Indonesians. Ben Lane shouting. This, this is where, in my opinion, you just stay focused. You have a chance to beat the world's best playing men's double. If they feel they got to use other means than playing, then that's up to them. Oh, that's the wrong call. Ah, I saw that as ben right Lane too. Ben challenges, yeah. hold in. You're very close to that line, Steve. Yeah. Looked out to me. Yeah, clearly out. Correction, out. So one game all, eight all, two minutes shy of the hour mark. Oh, that's wild. You're right, Steen. Alfian is not on his best form, is he? No, Don, but... Don, Ben, come here. Don't shout for the direction of the opponent. 
But this is, this is uh, Nine, I think this post have been more serious questions than uh, this match against Lane and Bendy because there's going to be Olympics in two years' time here in Paris. There's going to be World Championships in 2025. And... Uh, Service over. Nine all. The thing is, th these venues are very, very often slow-playing venues. And, and I'm not certain that um, that in, in big venues where everybody's in, in uh, top shape that, um, that Alfian and Adianto are the favorites in such a tournament. Yeah. Yeah. And well. If you're going to change partnerships, you need to do it fairly Ten, swiftly because nine. the Olympic qualifying period starts Five. next spring, does it not? Exactly. Flat, gone long. Service over. Ten all. So a ten all. Who's going to have the advantage at the change of ends? Found the gap. And the answer is, it's Ben Lane and Sean Vendy. Well, you could clearly hear Nathan Robertson 11, talking about putting it into corner, corner. Play. So play resumes. That's gone wide. Service over. 11 all. I just checked with my World Championship um, thing there. The last. Indonesian combination to win the men's doubles world championship without one of the players named Hendra Sechuan. That's back in 2001. That's Hayanto and um, Kunavan. Christine, I'm going to have to pull you up on that. Oh! What about Chandra Wajaya? 
and Sigit Budiato. Oh no, they were lost in the final, I beg your pardon. Who did they lose to? Tony Gunawan. Yeah, in uh, the Olympics. No, no, in um, the World in Champs when he was representing um, uh, America. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's a one place smash. are looking really well. rather shaky, aren't they? Well, the answer is falling down as well now. 16, 12. Uh, I just had the feeling when they got on court that they looked tired. Saying I would have predicted that um, they could end up in trouble like this and they still have a chance of making it, but um, it looks slim at the moment. Yeah. And I don't want to harp on about it, Steen, but that point at 12 7 in the second game, having already won the first by the Indonesians, simply can't afford at this level of any sport Oi, to take your foot off the pedal. Slipping in the uh, carpet there. So. Six point advantage now. Just wants to play on. Laughing. Well, it's called in by the umpire. Yeah, and Ben Lane was laughing, so I don't think he's challenging. It was in. The only one who called it short was actually me. <laughs> Late. Oh, that's a out. That's a second consecutive Seven service over. error from Ardianto. Third in 19, total. 14. Simply can't avoid that. And that, that's where I feel that if I were the Indonesian team management, I wouldn't want to go into the Olympics with a combination where one of the players are serving this yeah. um, uh, sort of... It's match point opportunities. Having looked 20, down and out. Match point 14. At the first over. match point for Lane and Vendi goes a begging. Oh dear me. Ends on a service error. And the victory to Ben Lane and Sean Vendi. 21-15 in the deciding game, a match lasting an hour and nine minutes. Well, if I recall my exact words in the second game when the Indonesians were a game and 12-7 up, and Alfian 
blocked into the net when he really should have killed it. He might live to regret that. Yeah. I'm pretty certain I said. And indeed they have, because Ben Lane and Sean Vendy have now added the sculpts of Alfian and Ardianto to their remarkable victory over top men's doubles pairs this year. They've beaten the Olympic champions, they've beaten the former world number ones, they've beaten the world champions, and now they have beaten the number one on the race to Guangzhou World Tour standings. What a disappointing way for the match to end. Victory for the unseeded combination of Ben Lane and Sean Vendy. Quite remarkable. Sue Story, the CEO of Babington England, celebrates because there is the scoreline. 16-21, 23-21, 21-15 in the deciding game in a match lasting an hour and nine minutes. Welcome back to Stade Pierre de Coubertin. Pierre de Coubertin, the founder of the modern Olympics. And of course, with the Olympic Games in Paris in 2024, so much sport to look forward to. Well, Ben Lane and Sean Vendy coming from match point down in that men's doubles. And after that thriller, we turn our, 